Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Are we ready for action? This is our, the final day of Planet Under Pressure 2012, and we're going to move away from just looking at ideas, and we're going to think about actions. We're going to be thinking about what needs to be done. Are we ready for that? Great. It's lovely to hear that there are 3,000 people registered to join this conference here at the Excel Center in London. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we have been doubling that audience daily with our live web streaming. 3,000 people around the world have been joining us. So wherever you are, whether you're here in London or whether you're in, in Lagos, a warm welcome. Let's all work together. Now, I told you yesterday that today would be about your questions that you have so kindly been sending in to us. 500 questions or so have come in, and I stayed up into the wee small hours of the morning reading them all. And you know what? We also took those questions, put them into a huge big number cruncher. Actually, I should call it a word cruncher. And this is what we came up with. Lo and behold, can we have a look at the word cloud, please? There it is. Those are the words in the questions that you sent us. And what it shows there is frequency. Which is the word you see more than any other word, ladies and gentlemen, up there? Which is the biggest word? Give it to me. Change. Today is about change. That's what you are asking for, ladies and gentlemen. What else do you see? The next biggest word. It starts with an N, and that's my clue. Need. You know, if I had scripted this, I couldn't have done it better. You are telling us we need global change. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. On day one, we looked at the state of the planet, the state of science. On day two, we came up with solutions, big and small. On day three, we looked at some of the obstacles along the way and how we could ease them. Today is about the way ahead.